Hi, Tony here. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, I've got lots of uh, things lined up. I just haven't got around to uh, doing the videos for them yet, but I've got a few things to show. So starting off today, I uh, thought it was a good reason to uh, do a little um, video of that knobster because the new knobster turned up. So I uh, got a little card in the door yesterday telling me uh, someone tried to deliver it. So uh, popped uh, down there this afternoon to pick that up and uh, here it is and it's a very nice unit indeed compared to, uh, to the old one very nice smooth um, case very weighty always a good sign of quality and I've got to say it works very well I'm just going to do a quick demo now in terms of a comparison what I've got here is a um, um, my um, Cessna 172 panel um, that I made for my two panel setup. There's the left panel, obviously. Um, and I've got it set up um, for Knobster uh, on the original Knobster. So my original Knobster is a homebrew Knobster. Um, it's got a dual uh, concentric encoder on there, but it's not as good a quality one as is used uh, in the um, the new Knobster, even uh, maybe the original Knobsters that were that were made, um, but it is a different uh, dual consider, and it does generally work okay. But it does suffer a little bit with uh, debounce. Uh, it doesn't when you're going fast. It doesn't uh, register all of the um, the clicks. So um, I'll just about show you that now. So if I so this is the original uh, Knobster or my original homebrew Knobster. You can see I've enabled the. Uh, and that's actually, it would be better if we did it for the, for the, the rows. Um, let's just enable the knobs there. You can see it's selected uh, in, in yellow there. Um, so we'll go ahead and just, um, you can see it is actually uh, operational. It's okay. So now I'm going to just um, flick it fast. And when I flick it fast, you can see when I flick very fast, it doesn't actually move, or sporadically, it doesn't actually move um, very much at all, using sort of the heading buggers as, as a reference as it's moving there, even though it's moving heading buggers or moving the rows. You can see that you can, I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm actually spinning the dial very quickly, and it's and it's kind of, when I looked at this, it kind of feels like that it's getting lots of clicks, but it's seeing some clicks in the opposite direction because it's getting confused with the, the signals from the encoder and, and not sure what direction it's actually going in and so it kind of needs a bit of uh, debounce uh, on there with this for this particular encoder so hence it's a bit I mean when you move slowly it works it works quite well but if you try to if you try to go fast you see that should actually be going faster than that and you can see it's only moving in very small small amounts. So if we flick over to the um, the new Knobster now, so I've just enabled the new one. I'll just uh, pick that up. I haven't got this mounted yet. Um, as I say, it's only just literally turned up. And you can see now I do, uh, let's just get this uh, bug up to the top there for a comparison. There we go. So now when I, when I spin it fast, do you see the difference there in terms of... Um, it's registering much more of the clicks or all the clicks probably um, in terms of when I spin that um, that dial and in, in fact I don't think this instrument I think it's got an acceleration of three but you can very easily I mean for instance if you was on autopilot and uh, you were flying ahead in um, and you wanted to make a 90 degree turn, it's really easy just to whiz that bug round or, um, I'm not on the bug, but I mean, we can do it um, on the bug. Yeah, it's easy to just to flick that bug round there now. Uh, gone were the days of having to, you know, rotate the dial many, many times to get it out there. So a combination of the acceleration on the dial itself and the smooth action of the nozzle gives a realistic um, feel and you can adjust obviously uh, the acceleration for each of your instruments to give you uh, you know the feeling of, of what you think that real instrument uh, should be or how you like it in terms of uh, how sensitive or, or not you want to be and you still see 
maintain the individual separate clicks to give you that precision or you can go faster to give you a bigger I love it really love it and uh, we'll be incorporating uh, that into uh, my new cockpit panel and I've got some more videos to show on that and uh, some more panels that I've been working on um, and some instruments and everything so I'll hopefully get around to doing those videos but this is just a little teaser of the new knobster in the meantime thanks for watching